Next up, Sen City athlete once again, Luke Dillon, or as we call him, Big Dill. Everyone <laughs> loves Luke Dillon. I don't think there's anyone that has ever talked bad about Luke Dillon. Luke Dillon is one of the funniest people I've ever met. He's also very wide, and that is, an, that is a good thing. We love Luke Dillon. Just wanted to mention that. Luke Dillon was uh, traveling with me and his girlfriend, Alessandra, down to um, a competition when he got the call to compete on a show that we cannot name. And um, I was freaking out for him, but he was just so calm, so calm, cool, and collected. Just said, okay, this is, this is cool. He got a call from an old friend in California. Always good he to hear a, from old friends. Oh, yeah, old friends Luke in California. Dillon <laughs> is making quick work. I guess you could say Big Dill is making this course look like his bread and butter. That was uh, a pickle pun really for all you folks at home. Terrible. Well, he I makes am the jump. Literally holding my breath until these athletes get through here. Looks like he's going for the grab. Oh, and he's thank got you, it. Luke, for getting that. <laughs> well, oh. Luke, Luke Dillon is Mr. Technical. He's done all sorts of insane things at Vitality. Uh, he has their insanely difficult angle ladder down on lock. So and it does not surprise me that he has gone as deep as he has. In stage two, no athlete yet for the guys has failed this back half. The front half seems to be the beefier section. But Luke oh Dillon almost made me Don't jinx it. Oh. Wow, he got caught on the strap and... What? They're saying he held the strap. Okay. He So the strap is off. They're saying that he because he had his legs wrapped around the strap, that that is a disqualification. Meanwhile, he's cruising through the rest of stage two. Well, the crowd telling him to finish. Finishing out the this course. This is gonna be a melodramatic buzzer because it's not gonna count. He's upset, he should be. I... Big round of applause. All right. Jordan Thurston upset and he is entitled to a video review. I think everyone's upset about that, especially Jordan, I mean. I so, think that that, oh. I think that, yeah, I I don't know if I agree with the call here because, yes, those straps are out for your lower body. However, I would definitely have called that incidental contact. You know, it's not like he used those straps in any way, shape, or form to help him get through um, the rest of the obstacle. Luke Dillon was disqualified on French toe sticks. Now, usually in fringe cases, you will see the re head referee throw that yellow flag, meaning that the run, sorry, Jackson, that the run is under review. Jamie Ron was confident that that was a disqualification through, or uh, hit the red immediately. However, the video review team has overruled, but because, he, even though he continued out the course unofficially, because he was marked as failing, his official result right now is Clearing shelf, uh, clearing French toast sticks and fail. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Clearing shelfies and failing um, French toast sticks. Most importantly, his the better of his two runs will count. So if he messes up before then, he will still be listed as failing French toast sticks that Jamie Ron originally marked. But if he improves on that, that'll be his official mark. And we've seen that he is able to beat every obstacle on this stage because he did continue the stage after he was marked as failing. Oh, did you? Okay, I guess I guess it's all me. Mary wants no part of this. I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm gonna try and not speak of that much on this run because I do not want to have commentators curse. I am so scared. Well, I am only going to say what happens then. He makes the hook and he finishes it out. Lauren Slider now. Luke, an excellent salmon ladder connoisseur. No surprise he's up there. Special delivery makes the grab. He went for the grab the first time. Going for the grab the second time makes it again. Jackson, a huge sigh of relief. I'm Phil, so a huge happy. sigh of relief. 53 seconds left on the shelfies. If he beats this obstacle, he'll be onto the scene of the crime, the French toe sticks, and it looks like he is well on his way. It's time yes. for redemption. Now he needs to make sure he stays in the center. Taking an extra moment to breathe. Smart call. Yes. Much better. No straps in sight. 
and there is the dismount. Now, let's go. Momentum shift was pretty unofficial. He had a little bit more time to rest. The clock wasn't going. Now the pressure is on. The lights are on. Can he do it again? So and far, so good. It. Dismount. Time is starting to run low. The red light, the warning light will flash here in a moment's time. There it is. He's got to go. And he's got it. Box push. He's got it. He's got it. He's got no, no, no. He didn't hit the platform. He didn't hit the platform. That's going to come off the board. For the second time, uh, Luke Dillon's going to get disqualified. There is a finish. Jamie Ron's trying to chase him down to let him know oh, that no. this run is going to come off the board. Luke Dillon is going to get disqualified for a second time because he did not touch that finish platform. There is a fi the, the, the community chest is two obstacles. You must touch that platform, and he did not touch that platform. That run is going to come off of the board, and for the second time in two runs on stage two, Luke Dillon is going to get disqualified. Oh in comes no. NNL president Chris Olszewski. There's going to be no more reruns for Luke Dillon. <laughs> Coach Jordan Thurston. <laughs> Jordan Thurston is, is going to need to take a couple weeks off after this, after what we've put him through this week. And Jamie Ron is going to count that as a clear. We are just being told that the ruling on the course is a clear. Let's go. But I assume that will be video reviewed. After some discussion with this coach and NNL president Chris Wolchowski, the ruling as of right now is a clear thumbs up Jamie from Jamie Ron. I imagine that will be reviewed. Poor Luke Dillon having to go through so much on stage two, essentially running the whole thing twice.